Hi, this is Sally Lynn McDonald with Gel Press at the AFCI Creativation Show, and I'm going to show you uh, pushing the edge of what you can do with gel printing with Gel Press. And we're going to be working with alcohol inks. So alcohol inks traditionally, one doesn't think about using them with a gel press because they dry on the surface. But this, and especially in Phoenix, <laughs> but this surface is engineered to release the media, so I can use them. These are from Ranger. These are Copic marker refill inks, which I don't think people typically think about as an alcohol ink. But it's 358 colors of that, so yum. So the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of apply a base color on my plate. And I'm just spreading some onto here. And then I'm using, we call these our economy brayer because we're not afraid to use them with alcohol. <laughs> it also has other alcohol inks on it, so it's transferring those colors. Yay! Now, once that's dry, I'm going to start um, doing some other things for the next layer. So I'm going to take a stencil. Traditionally, you can't stencil with alcohol ink, but I'll take that and I'm just going to press it to the surface to make good contact, but do it with a piece of bubble wrap because the plate will hold the stencil in place, but this will also an effect and a removal from the alcohol ink that's on the surface. So we're already texturing it in a different way than you could ever do on paper. Um, I created this technique specifically because I wanted to be able to use alcohol ink in my art journal, and I didn't like the fact that it bled through the paper. So this allows me to work with it wet, but then transfer it when it's dry. So I'm just using a little puddle pad over here with another of my gel press plates and that way I can stamp with alcohol ink as well. So I could use a detailed stamp or in this case my favorite kitchen trivet <laughs> to do stamping. So you don't need special textures. Like my boss got this in packing from something in the plant and obviously gave it to me because I like everything that has texture. I don't see the world in color anymore. Just texture. Now we have some beautiful colors on there. I'm going to add one more contrasting color. Maybe let's bring in some pink for them. Yeah, pink. And because I want to kind of stencil a little bit with the alcohol ink, because the gel press plate is holding that stencil in place, it won't bleed underneath it. And I can once again do a little bit of brayering and then a little bit of final texturing and we'll be ready to go. Um, let's see, I'm going to take one of the gel press impressibles, which are our new giant 12 inch textured gel plates. And I'm going to press that on the surface. Oops. Never have enough room at these demo stations to put that print on there as well. Awesome. Okay, now. Let's remove our stencil, and you'll see how it did the stencil design with the alcohol ink. Very unique, right? Different than what we're typically able to do. And lastly, now that the alcohol ink is completely dry on the surface, if you tried to just put a piece of paper or a fabric or chipboard on there, nothing would come up. It's dry. But because the surface is engineered to release the media, all I have to do is apply a little bit of paint to the surface. Let me get to my paint drawer. So I'm going to take just a contrasting color of paint. Here's a Pebeo in Titan Buff, which is one of my favorite, not just white paints to use as a contrast. So I'll be able to see all these colors. Now, being Arizona, it tends to be a little dry here. So I'm going to use possibly a little bit more than I might at home. But the key to a successful pickup print is being able to see your design through the paint. And I'm going to be a brat and even have a little bit of fun and texture this as well with my, yes, bath squeegee. <laughs> because we like texture around here. All right, we're ready to print. Let's take a piece of paper. This is just copy paper from Staples to show to you once again that there's no bleed through. So you could do this directly into your art journal. And all we're doing is making contact between the dried skins of the media on the plate, the wet paint, and that will adhere it to our paper. It's sciency. And then it will release all of that gorgeous color onto our print. Isn't that fun? So you can stencil and stamp and texture with alcohol ink with gel press and not waste a drop of any of your beautiful paint. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to Scrap Time Videos on YouTube. In the meantime, here are a couple other videos you might be interested in watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.